Good morning and welcome to your 30s where you don't know why you can't just go to bed late and wake up early anymore. We got up super late. I accept that for my husband because he works really hard during the week, long hours, and if he can sleep in, sleep in. But for me, sleeping in just means wasting the day. By this hour, my vlog from yesterday would have been nearly finished by now, just putting the finishing touches on it and I can move on. Now I'm gonna have to do things a little bit differently because I have my first tutoring session at three, the other one's at four. For one of them, I plan the entire hour because it's more of a class rather than a tutoring session. He doesn't actually get material at school that I have to help him with. That's the first one. The second one, I actually teach him. Since that's more important than my vlog, I'm going to see if I can do as much as I can for my vlog for yesterday. And if I don't finish it on time, it's just going to have to upload late. As you can see, the bed is already made. It is a long weekend, so as I've mentioned before, my husband takes over a few of my household duties when he's here. So he made the bed, he put a load of laundry in the wash, he's swiffing the floor, fed the doggies, and is taking care of the kitchen right now. Good morning. Someone kept me company while I was editing. Bonita. Just wagging her tail under my skirt. Okay, I got the video edited. It is now exporting or converting to get ready to upload to YouTube. <coughs> so I'm gonna make myself a quick lunch. I had a light breakfast since it was so late. Prep my kids class in the meantime, and then I'm off to their homes <coughs> to be back hopefully by like 5.30, 5.45 at the latest, and then Gabby and I can have a nice Friday night date, maybe. I don't know, depends how we're both feeling. But since I have another tutoring session tomorrow morning, I, we can't go to bed too late, and I'm gonna have some work to do when I get back, or maybe a little bit before bed. And then we can start our weekend. I just finished preparing my students' class, and I also have my video almost done uploading. <coughs> I just had to come to the couch because my chest was feeling a little tight. I can breathe deeply and I can breathe clearly, but this is just feeling a little on the tight side. And I had to wait until 2.30 to use my albuterol inhaler again, which is my rescue inhaler. And I'm going to stop talking because that's what's causing the cough anyway. Five minutes are up. Now to wait for those 20 minutes. <coughs> it's been 15 minutes. It's not feeling very different, but it's not feeling like it was a little while ago where it was just tight. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and think that it's <coughs> probably gonna keep working later on. If this continues though, I may have to go to the hospital because when I was younger, I was asthmatic. And I used to have to go to the hospital for some additional respiratory therapy, which is kind of ridiculous because I haven't had this since I was in high school. Now I'm just gonna do my makeup to go to the class. Fortunately, my student is practically my neighbor, so I don't have to walk very far for that first one. The second one is a little farther away. So that's a good thing. Always focus on the positive things in life, or as they say in the military, hunt the good stuff. And we're going to the hospital. I just dropped off the material that I prepared for the first tutoring session. I dropped it off with his mom, explained how it works, and I excused myself with the other student. And now I'm just gonna get ready to go to the hospital. Okay, I <coughs> updated the med list on my phone and I also changed my clothes something loose and I'm also wearing underwear that they're not going to tell me oh you need to remove that for an imaging study or anything like that <coughs> I'm not taking my hospital bag because usually for respiratory things it's just an in and out thing as far as I remember and I packed my water bottle a snack jacket you know if you've been to the hospital you know the drill but I'm not taking my hospital bag which includes <coughs> My pajama bottoms and um, a blanket. 
I've already been to this emergency room, so they have my file and they have connections to my doctor. So I'm, not, I'm also not taking my medical history, which I always carry a copy of because I have run into doctors who doubt what I'm telling them. But I'm hopeful that this time they are going to believe me. Anyway, we're on our way. ¿Qué fue, Luna? ¿Qué pasó? Gabby left to go pick up my prescription and now they think they're being abandoned or something. I don't know what's going through their head. I was checking my last clip to see where I had left off and realized that the camera cut me off for some reason so it didn't show us coming out of the clinic or anything. Let me explain what happened. We were on our way to the hospital and I started feeling a little better but I still I wanted medical attention so I told him let's just go to an urgent care. Even though I've had lousy experiences in the past with people prescribing antacids for GI bleeds, I thought I would just give it another shot since <coughs> We're here in Hawaii and I've never been to an urgent care here. So we went to a minute clinic and got taken care of pretty quickly. The, doc the doctor or PA or whoever it was uh, said that it's not respiratory. My lungs are clear. My nasal passages are clear. She did find some nasal polyps, which is new for me. So she prescribed a nasal spray and some antacid for my esophagus. Now this doctor said because, I'm gonna keep saying doctor, but this physician said that even though my lungs are clear and I can breathe, it seems that it's my GERD that <coughs> is irritating my esophagus and causing all the coughing. It is irritating my bronchial tubes or possibly inflaming them. There's no way to tell with just like a physical examination. So she said to continue what my primary doctor told me to take and then she added this to take care of the stomach and uh, my nose. The thing is my gastroenterologist had said that because I have stomach polyps I'm not supposed to take antacids anymore and I explained that to her so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take them for like two or three days so starting tonight so two two nights and then <coughs> someone from the clinic is gonna call me to see if it's making a difference if it's not then she suggested that I move up my gastroenterologist appointment from the 28th just in case there's anything else that's really going on there since it's not a respiratory issue after that, we just went home and we took a little break. The doctor or the physician did say that I just needed to rest and not talk that much, which is also why I'm going to try to make uh, shorter clips or less clips. And my husband's back with the medicine, but <sighs> just going to do that now. And we're on our way to PetSmart for the doggies. <laughs> and then we're going to go back home. Mira, Luna. Suave. Stay. Stay. Good girl. Suave. <coughs> nice. Stressed, huh? Shopping for toys. <laughs> Lali doesn't know how to shop. <laughs> but Luna's very meticulous. We're home! And this is the aftermath of our husky! But it's easy, because we got this kind of rubbery brush. And check this out. It's like magic! And we only discovered this after 12 years of having our husky. <laughs> That's bad. Before we had the stinking brush, we used to struggle with the, with the vacuum attachments that didn't even work half as good as this. Sometimes we would even use the lint roller and just pick out some hairs by hand. And look at this. And almost done in a matter of seconds. Oh, it's magic. 
it's a little late again but we took it so easy after leaving the clinic that everything just kind of happened very slowly through the rest of the night and it's like living in slow motion the entire time that we've been home since we got back from PetSmart I've been on the couch we were watching TV and I wasn't talking at all and everything feels calmer so I don't feel the chest pain and obviously I haven't been coughing you notice now that I'm talking without coughing so the doctor or physician who saw me at the minute clinic telling me to just rest and not talk might have had a point while we were watching TV I finished editing this video I'm just doing this clip now which I'm gonna add and then tomorrow I'll be ready for upload I also just added some supplemental material for what I was supposed to do with one of my kids today and basically just review what I left with his mom and then add a little bit to that. That way we cover the full hour and I make sure that he learned what he needed to learn. So I'm basically ready for tomorrow, which is great because so, that means that I can have an easy morning since I'm going to see him at 9 in the morning. We haven't made any plans for Saturday especially because I have that <coughs> tutoring session at nine and then he's going to go to a chiropractic appointment and we're also working on something together for his work and we don't really know how much time that's going to take so if anything we'll probably have a date night and like the doctor said physician said just take it easy <laughs> So that's it for us tonight. I hope you guys had a better day than I did. Thank you so much for watching. <coughs> and if you're on Facebook, you saw that I shared my most recent YouTube analytics. And I'm very, very grateful for all of you who are watching and liking and sharing. And I had a few subscribers too. So now I'm going to be like every YouTuber out there. I ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I'm hoping to work my way into YouTube's algorithm and hopefully reach more people who are either living my same situation or starting out or are even worse and just need a little solidarity. So please and thank you for your support. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.